and welcome back to my channel Webin Apps with Edit. Today the video is all about image map in HTML. It talks about mapping from one image to multiples of images or multiples of HTML files. The explanation for the same is already being done in my previous video. If you have not watched the video, link for the same will be put up in my description box. As a card which is popping up on the right hand side, you can click on it and watch it at any time. So let's start with the demo. So as always, I have kept a snippet of my HTML ready with the title given as image mapping. Now to insert an image onto my HTML page, I need to write the image tag. So the image tag was given with the short name as IMG. Then we need to write the attribute that is the source file. So we write it as SRC equal to double quotes. In between the double quotes, you need to mention the URL of the file. So I already have a file which is named as new2 onto my desktop. So I'll be using that into my code. So I've already copy pasted the address. So I have put the address new2 dot gif is the path for it i need to close my angular bracket and i don't need to mention a closing tag because image is a standalone tag so we don't have a closing now if i refresh my page i can see the image is already there onto my page so with image we learned few attributes that was the border is equal to a pixel value so if i give a border I can see a border appearing across it. So if I increase the number for my border, I can see the values changing for my border width. So the width of my border will keep on increasing based on the number of value that you're trying to give using the pixel value. We learned one more attribute that was an alt. Alt is equal to an alternate text for your data to be visible. So if I have given an alternate text is equal to image map. What its work is when your page is heavy with images, it takes time to load. So this alternate image will tell you what exactly is the image all about. So if I just try to change something in this and my image will not load because the extension is not proper. So if it's not loading, you can see the data that has come is an image map. So we come to know this image is like an uh, data which has an image map or some many of the times you must have seen when you load a page it doesn't come so if you are onto a page where it is about coffees and tea so it is just saying tea so if you refresh the page you can see tea so if the image the page is very heavy and your page is taking time to load in that case this will help us to know this section is for the T. So if you click, it will now take you to an another page. So you have already given image SRC and we know this is the alternative text which is there for the data to be visible. If I make my data proper, then I can see my image back onto my page. We also learned that one image can be made a clickable image. Right now you can see the cursor is in the same position. It is not a clickable image, but I can click uh, make images clickable and it can click and connect to multiples of other pages as well. So over here, we know that to click and connect to multiple pages, we have a tag which is called as anchor tag. So we need to use a href equal to the URL of the page. So currently I want image to be acting as my clickable image, not a text which will be highlighted. So I just need to give a href equal to URL of the page. So for example, I have a.html file already onto my desktop. So I give a href html and I've given image src. But I need to close my a tag over here. Then only the image will become a clickable image. If you close it over here, then it is outside the a tag, so it will not become a clickable thing. Now this entire image is clickable and when I click on it, it has to navigate me to a.html file. So if I refresh and I click, it will open to a.html. We had anchor tag. We had learned about targets, where exactly the page to open. 
So if you have not viewed my anchor tag video, the link is there available in the description box. You can click on it and view it or else the card will be appearing for you on the top so you can click and watch that as well. So we learned target is equal to blank self and everything. So when we put so when we put target is equal to blank, it has to open onto a new page. So my image will be clickable and the page that has to load, it will load onto an another web tab. So let's see what exactly my output will be coming up. So I just refresh my page and it's a clickable link. And when I click on it, you can see the next tab has opened where my page has opened for itself. So you can see the border color is also changing. We had learned about this also in the anchor tag where you have the links, A link, V link and the visitor link. So this is the active link. That's why the color has changed to red. And when you are into the normal format, it is purple color, which is a by default color of a link. We are now clear with how to insert an image and how to give an attribute. Along with the target, we can attach an ahref file and we can make image as clickable as well. Now you can see this image itself is divided into four parts. One big square. Inside that you have a rectangle which is in the red color. You have a circle and you have a triangle. Now to make this as an image map. Now anywhere I click, it is going to take me to the same page what I have as a.html file. So if I say I want to click on red section and it doesn't, it should take me to an another page, not a.html. Same with for the green and same as for the blue. So for that concept, we get the name called as image map. So we need to give image mapping. So for mapping, we need to use a map tag. So I'll be start. So we need to use a map tag to create a mapping. So with the map tag, we have the attribute which is called as name. So you give a name for your map tag as ABC for example. And you need to close the map tag as well. Because it's a container tag. This map name has to come with your image tag. So here you will have use map as a connector for the map tag. So in the use map, you need to mention hashtag and the value that you need it to be entered so hashtag abc and you have map name is equal to abc so this map name will connect with your image using the use map as an attribute value for it now in the map name you have to use a tag which is called as area with the area tag you have attributes that is called as shape is equal to and you have coords, which stands for the coordinates of it. So you need to give area, shape, coordinates and href value for it. In this video, that for area, we need to use shape, which could be circle, rectangle or poly. And coordinates for it depends on what shape you are selecting. And href will be the link which you want to give on that section when you select. Now, how do we find the coordinate values? So for that reason, this particular image which is available on my desktop, I have opened it in paint. Open the image in a paint, you can see on the left hand side section, as you move on, as you move your cursor on the image, you can see some values are popping up over here. So when my cursor is over there, you can see some values are coming. So for that is what is called as your X and Y coordinates. So I can create a particular data that I want. So for example, I want this to be mapped. So I create this as my rectangle. So this rectangle is ready. So I can give a shape over there as rectangle. So I come over here and I give my shape is equal to rectangle, which is rect. Then for my coordinate values, I need to take the diagonal value. So I will take to this position and you can see on the bottom left the values are 98 and 20 pixels. So I need to go back and write my coordinates as 98, 20. 
then I need to come back to see my coordinates over here. It's 180 and 170. So I'll go back and write my value as 118 and 170. So this is my coords which are there. And for my href, a c.html file. So I save this and I let me just check what's the output that is going to come. You can see it has come to a different page. My yellow section or any green or the blue section, if I click, it is taking me to a page which is as a.html file. You can see a.html file which I had given over here for my entire image to be clicked. Now I have given shape is equal to rectangle and I have given coordinate values. So href is equal to c.html. So now when I click only on this rectangle post because even if I click here it's opening a.html. Even if I click here it's opening a.html. But when I click specific to this rectangle it will open to a page which is called as c.html and it is opening on the same window because I have not mentioned target equal to. So c.html is my program which I had explained in my frame and frame set tag. We are on to c.html file. Now let's make it for a triangle as well. So I just give area shape is equal to now for the triangle. I don't have a shape which is called as triangle for the map tag. So I'll be using poly. Poly stands for polygon. So I need to mention coordinates equal to and I need to give href equal to. So I'll go and find the coordinate values again. So I just take this as a polygon. Important thing to be remembered is never resize the image when you are doing an image mapping because it becomes difficult because here when you are finding the coordinates you have the original image with a specific height and a weight but when you are trying to do it onto your uh, web page that means once you have inserted onto the web page you give a height and a width that image height and a width doesn't match to this original image then if you take the coordinate values from here, it will not match the coordinate values over there. So that's the reason don't resize the image if you want to do an image map. Otherwise, resize the image even in the paint and then find the coordinates as well. So right now, this is a polygon where you can see this is one section, two, three, four and five. So these are the values that I'll have to insert. So currently the value is 51 and 1. So I'll just put 51 comma 1 comma I'll go on to this section and the value is 78 and 18. So I'll take 78, 18. I'll come over here and I can see the value is 71 and 53. So I'll just give 71 and 53. I move to my next dot and that is 29 and 53. So 29 and 53. My next is over here which is 17 and 20. So I'll give 17 and 20. And if I want to run my page, I give it as l.html. It's a page which is existing on my web desktop. So I'll just refresh my page to see now what's the data that is coming. So you can see now. I click here, you can see in another page that has loaded that is l.html. Now when I click on this yellow section or any other section, leaving this triangle and this rectangle, it will take me to a.html. And if I click on this, it is taking me to l.html. And if I click over here, it is taking me to c.html. So this is the way we can do image mapping. You have an image where you have like India as a country and you want that every state to be matched, you can create that using image map. If you have a planet as a solar system and you click on a specific image and that specific image has to open in an enlarged view, then you can have a similar output as well.
I already have one demo which is ready about the planets. So this is one image where I have inserted planets as an image and there are multiples of planets which are there. Every click you can see onto the blacker area if I am there are no clicks available. But as soon as I am onto an image it is giving me a sign which is clickable. So cursor changes its position to a clickable image. Asteroid I have not given anything so even if I move over it my cursor is the same. Same is for the comets and same is for the remaining black area. Now if I click on earth and if I click on this a specific image will load in little bigger version in an another HTML file. So I have collected similar images and kept it in one position and I've just given it with the area shape is equal to. So when I click on earth it is taking me to a page which is earth.html. Same way I have if I click on Jupiter there will be an image of Jupiter that is loading. If I click on Neptune there will be an image of Neptune that will be loading. If I click on Mercury it is Mercury. If I click on Venus it is Venus. So one image this is. This entirely is one image named as planets.jpg. So this is one entire image that I have inserted into my page and I have just center aligned the image. I have not given any height and width for this image because as I said when you have to do mapping it becomes difficult for it to know the height and width. So I have just kept it common and it's a big image so I don't need to give a height and width. And my each section is highlighted. Right now I have just given an image a bigger version of that image only. We can write more of that text data inside the HTML. So it will be referred like a Wikipedia that you're trying to find about Venus. You click on the Venus image, the image has loaded big and you have some verbatim data and you have some data about Venus available. So in this way you can create small web pages with demonstrations of image mapping. And if you want something to be creatively explained by clicking on the image and see how it is going about. Like in school, they have small activities where you can create like this web pages and make students more attracted to do those experiments as a click here to know what is coming up. So similarly, you can try this as an image map as well. And that's all about the explanation of image map. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked my video. If you liked my video, do hit the like button, do share it with your friends and families, do subscribe to my channel and keep supporting. Thank you.